agony and the years of disappointment of not being able to pass the sterile processing exam has come to a halt. Travelling Beard has developed a book to help you pass the exam. back with another video today's video is a guide for all newcomers for sterilization today's a sterile video we are we did decontamination we did the prep and pack now we shall be doing sterilization we're going to touch over the most important parts in sterilization so you will know what to look out for when on when you're on sterilizing this is for all newcomers don't forget to come like subscribe we're going to get into it. This is a visual for anybody who has not done this yet. What you talking about, huh? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So, when once the trays are prepped and packed, once you have wrapped your trays and put your instruments in a container and placed them on the cart to be sterilized, when the loader, which is a sterilizer person, sterilizes your trays, this is what will come out for them. It is a receipt. The receipt has to show that you met all the parameters for your load to be considered sterilized, right? But not only does it have to show that it's been sterilized, you have to also go through other parameters. Let's go through it. So, as I said, let's go through the parameters. As you see, once the person puts in the load, before they do that, we must make sure and inspect the load is ready to be sterilized. And how do you do that? You want to place all wrap items on the top, right? Because if you place a heavy container above a wrap item, you will get moisture on it. So it's important that you inspect your trays and make sure that there are filters in them as well. The filter is in it, you're good to go. You always want to check behind people. You never know. So people may forget. As you see, this load right here is perfect. Wrap items are on top. Containers are on bottom. The containers will sweat. So if they're on the bottom, I mean, if they're on the top, then you know your um, pill packs will sweat along with your uh, wrap items. Now, this is the chamber, right? Your instruments go in the chamber. You always want to make sure your drain is clean that is one of the most important parts of sterilization before sterilizing your drain must be clean all right so right here we're going to go through a process right here we're going to show you guys what not to do how important it is how you sterilize your load this right here is horrible job as you can see containers on the top wrap items on the bottom that should never be you will get a wet load and this right here is the drain I was talking about. This is the most important part. Before you even run your sterilizer, check your drain. Because if it is not clean, if it does have um, items in it, you will have a load that may abort, a wet load, or it may take longer to sterilize. So important to check. Now also your two other items are your Bowie dick and your air removal test. Um, depending on your hospital, how important it is, please rely on them to tell you. But your biologicals, are important for each load done with implants this is the visual how they will look for you don't forget to comment like subscribe all that good stuff i'm out peace couple things in this game i need man gotta get my money right <laughs> couple things else too